Hi to all my beautiful creators out there. Welcome back to Wet Paint Contemporary. My name is Marisa. And if you would love to see the rest of my beautiful craft haul, please stay tuned. And also, stay tuned to the end of the video because I have a special surprise for you guys and an update. All right, so let's get started. Hey guys, I'm back. How is everyone today? So today is a Hobby Lobby. We got some Tonic Studios here and Little Birdie Hall. All right. And stay tuned to the end because I have a surprise for you guys. All right. So let's get started with the Hobby Lobby Hall. Now, all of these were 50% off. Uh, Paper Studio had, come on, focus you. Um, Paper Studio had a really cool sale, so this is 50% off. Let's see if I can get my, oh, that's better. Um, yeah, so Paper Studio had a really cool sale, so this is 50% off. We got some of these. Um, this is Tim Holtz Ideology. Ephemera. This is really beautiful. And I'm going to show you some of the things. Um, I, when I like to do hauls now, I also like to kind of show you a little bit of what I made so far. These are gorgeous. I love these. These are some embellishments, 12 pieces. And I, oh, look at my nail polish matches. I love these colors. Um, let's see what else here. We got um some beautiful paper uh kits these uh, this is boho vibes paper crafting kit and this is really really cool because it comes with some frames some ephemera a whole sheet of stickers and then you got the alphanumeric stickers and then you got all these beautiful papers and that is everything so again this was 50 percent off so that was originally 10 and this was five. Yeah, so I like to kind of, when I see these on sale, I really like to stock up on some of this stuff. This is beautiful, um, petals and blooms. And some of these things were not available for a while, so I was really happy to get them. Let's see, same thing. We got some really cool um, stickers, some, I think these are chip, that's it, chipboard stickers alphanumeric and a sheet and then in the back here these are all the beautiful papers that it comes with and that is everything and again 50% off for only five bucks for all that all right so then I also got some um, just some sheets of paper so this is like a really cool space um, you know, universe space inspired paper. I absolutely love that. I got a few sheets of those. And like again, everything was on sale. And I'm stocking up on some Halloween um, and fall stuff. That's my favorite time of the year, by the way, if anyone wants to know. I love the fall, so. And the cool thing is when I, I kind of pretty much started crafting with the paper crafts and I don't have a lot of Christmas and holiday stuff. So I get to buy some. So this was, oh my God, this was not available for quite some time. This is the Kirby Teasdale Studio. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. This was not in stock for a while. So I'll just quickly flip through that. Oh, these papers are just beautiful. I just love that kind of antique look. Um, the only thing is with this paper, as beautiful as it is, it's very thin to me. Um, but this is beautiful. And it's only one-sided. So I'm probably going to have to use like some cardstock and kind of layer with this. But this is absolutely gorgeous. And I used my 40% coupon on this. So this was like originally 20 bucks. So I got it for, what did I get it for? Something like 11 or something like that. 
All right, so we got that. And now let me just show you really quick. And this I got also, I ordered twice from Hobby Lobby so I could use my 40% coupon. I got, what is this? The trim and scoreboard and it comes with a little, um, what is this called? It's like the, a little tool here to score with and bend your paper. So this is really, really awesome. And I just love the colors, this kind of minty green and cream. So this was originally $30 and I got it for like $17.99, something like that. So I love that. And let me just show you really quick what I made so far with those beautiful papers. And this is the Tim Holtz Ephemera. Um, yeah, it's like kind of thin this paper, so I definitely had to double it up. And then I used um, actually all three um, paper kits. So this is that paper, and um, I made this little pocket with um, the flower and blooms, and you have a little boho vibe. And so yeah, I thought that was really cool. And by the way, this is actually going to Gina from Gina Loves to Craft. She is having a, this is not an official VR uh, video response or anything like that, but I am putting together a really cool kit. So if you don't know Gina from Gina Loves to Craft, I am sure you do. I will link her channel below because she's having a very cool giveaway. So I am sending her some stuff. I'm getting some stuff together. All right. So, let's shift this down. Alright. So, this is, let's see, let's start for the, um, you know what, let's do Little Birdie first. Alright, so I don't know if I showed the, these to you guys, but these are some really cool little uh, fabric handmade flowers. I've been using them already. The colors are just beautiful. And I already started using these as well. Um, these are very cool stickers. Uh, very crafty related. Calm and craft. Be calm. Was it keep calm and craft on? Very cool. I love these stickers. All right. Let's see what else is from Little Birdie. Oh, there was something that I did not believe they actually had. No, I don't remember if I showed these to you guys. But I think I may have. Or I don't know. I bought this last month. I've been using it already. This beautiful paper pad. It's so beautiful. This is called True Love. This is actually very thick. Look how pretty these are. Whoops. See, I've already been using it. But this, this paper is really beautiful. So that is that one. Let's move that to the side. And then we have Boho Dreams again. But in Little Birdie. So, you got Boho Dreams, Boho Vibes. So this, oh, see, I've been using it for a while now, but I just wanted to show that to you guys. Um, I really love Little Birdie. Very beautiful papers. Okay, so that is that. Now, the thing I did not know about Little Birdie was they have some pouring paint, which is insane. Now, I'm very happy I got these on sale because honestly, these would have been $5 each, and you know, I have not tried them yet, but I would definitely not have bought them if they were $5 each, because um, this is very tiny. What is this, like two ounces or something for $5? No, ma'am. But I got it on sale, it was like two eighty, dollars so I just tried them. Um, I have not tried these yet, I will be doing that, but I got some pretty colors, uh, Sapphire Trail, Pink Tango, Black Pepper, let's see what we got here, Cherry Tomato, Pearl White, let's see, Pineapple Crush, and yes, yeah, so I'm really excited about these, these are adorable, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Plum Orchid, Icy Blue, and last but, not, last but not least, Timeless Teal. So I'm excited to try those. I had no idea they had pouring paint. 
And if you saw my last video about, um, oh yeah, I wanted to ask you guys, it seemed like you really liked it. The Two Minute Tips with Marisa is going to be a continuing series. I have more and more ideas ready for them. So I will be applying my first two minute tip, which is the flow troll. I'm going to try it with this. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it right there. Okay. Now, last but not least is the Tonic Studio. So let me bring all that down. And I also want to show you, because I have more Tonic Studio stuff. So let's start off with this. This is absolutely really, 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 really cool. Um, it's like it's a peekaboo die set. So like the little flowers here and the leaves kind of like you, it's like a little pull tab. It's a whole set. Um, I forgot how much I paid for it, but this was Tonic Studios. Look how, what beautiful things you can make with it. The only problem is I need a huge die machine. And that is a question I have for you crafters out there. Let me know what, um, die cut machine you have. What do you suggest? Right now I just have the sidekick, so it's really too small for this whole set. I can't make the whole card yet, but I did start making some stuff with it just because you know i can't help myself and i wanted to try it so here is something i made time to shine so and these are the leaves that you can make with it so when i do it properly the little flower would be hidden here and it'll be like a pull tab and you open and close it so i just made uh, some of that just to play with it. So I thought that was very cool. Let's see. Yeah, let me let me uh, know, guys, what um, die cut machines you have and what do you suggest? There's so many out there. So this is from Tonic. This is um, a shaker set. So I made my first shakers, and here's like a teacup set here. And these are just uh, the refills. So I just wanted to show you because I know I have not shown you guys this. Um, here you go. So I'm going to flip through it really quick. This is my first little journal book. And I used Sissix. Um, I got this um, from Sissix. Um, Lori Whit Whitlock. It's called the, the Story. And you make like a little mini book. So this is my first shaker. And see, that's actually, that's the Boho Dreams paper. I am in love with this. Um, I am so proud of this book, I'm telling you right now. Uh, I just, I'm in love with this whole little idea of like these many books. So here is that. I'm just gonna flip through really quick. So this is my first one ever, so please judge me kindly. <laughs> and that's that page. And I made this for myself. Um, I don't know, I guess to put some goals in here. This is such a pretty book, I don't even want to use it. But uh, I'm going to put some goals in here, just things that are special to me. And I just was using like stamps and he opened this up. I just kind of just went wild. Um, that's a BB craft um, bling that I had gotten. I actually got these from Gina, from Gina Loves to Craft. Let's see. And here's another die set. I may put like a little piece of uh, like just uh, white paper here or something so I can write on it. And I, or I may just use these for like special stickers. And that's that page. And then there's this one, this is the last page that I have not um, attached yet. So that is that. And then Finn, the end. And oh yeah, that's the other die from um, this set right here. So I could still use the dies. I just can't make the actual card yet. So that, whoops, is that. So I hope you like that. I also got these, what is this, crystal, oh no, glitter drops by Nuvo from Tonic. And I use them right here. So these are very pretty. And I don't know what color this is. What color is this? Does it say? I can't read it. Anyway, it's like a lavender color. 
And yeah. So then I got this glue. Uh, I love the packaging and it is very, very cool. This is a very, very, very good glue. I mean, it sticks on. All right, just a couple more things. And you know what? Oh yeah, here, let's move this out of the way. So I got one of these organizational uh, little uh, caddies. So I put all my brushes in here, um, just a whole bunch of stuff, like tools. And I also got from Tonic, I got these, whoops, sorry guys, the glitter markers. So it was a set, I believe, these beautiful colors, like a bronzy, a plum, aqua, gold. So these are absolutely beautiful. And the packaging, again, is gorgeous. All right, yeah, so I was, I've just been uh, kind of organizing a little bit better, making uh, better use of my space. And this is incredibly sturdy. And I mean, I could fit much, much more in here. And I got, look at all this. I got pencils and uh, all kinds of stuff, brushes and everything in here. So uh, these types of brushes, cool sponges. So yeah, so um, I will be right back So I want to show you a couple more things and then I have the very, very cool announcement. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so here is the last, um, some of the stuff I got last month. I know this is a lot as usual, but some of this I got last month. Um, also because I love Tonic, but Tonic Studios takes forever to ship. Um, once they actually ship it, it doesn't take too long, but it really takes a long time for them to actually ship something. Um, this is really cool. It's like a paper trimmer. Um, this is actually a set. So this, I love this one. It cuts very, very well. And this is like a guillotine one. So there's that. So that was a set. I forgot how much it was because it was last month, maybe six weeks ago, but I really love it. And, um, and then, like I showed you this already, this guy here, I've been wanting to organize better. So I don't know if this guy here, this very, very cool cup holder came with this, or this is the Big Daddy that I upgraded. I had here a little um, a Dollar Tree, little plastic piece of crap that couldn't really hold anything it didn't couldn't hold much and then it kept on falling off this is so cool it is very very sturdy and i attached it here it's like a kind of like a screw in type of deal but you can it's removable it is very cool and i have like a lot of glues in here and all kinds of stuff um yeah, and I could see everything, and it holds much more than the other. I mean, but the, the Dollar Tree one was great to start off with, and I'm actually repurposing repurposing that for um, something in my kitchen, actually. So I think this cup, and then the cup was free. So this is really cool. Let's see. Very cool. Uh, very pretty cup with my coffee in it. And actually, that is perfect for me. And the reason why I really fell in love with that is because I'm a klutz. And um, in one of my two-minute videos, I am going to show you how you can re, just like kind of reimagine, repurpose the same space right here for about three or four different things very quickly. And one of the reasons why I got this set is because, like I said, I'm clumsy and I just got a new laptop. And this is away from the desk here. I could sit here, drink my coffee, I could paint, I could craft, I could do resin art, I can use my computer all in the space with the chair here and the light and everything. And it, my coffee or my drink is safe away from my clumsy hands. All right, so that is the end of the uh, craft haul, which is a lot. I got some really beautiful things here. So I will be right back because I want to give you the update and I want to show you the surprise. Hey guys, I'm back. All right, now the update is don't forget, I am having my 600 subscriber giveaway and the deadline is August 7th. So if you want to enter, you can go to the original video and I'll put that right here. 
um, also if you want another entry you can actually comment on this video as well because this is an update video and then you'll have two entries okay I believe yes today is the fourth and I will be hopefully getting this video up tomorrow um, so you still have a couple of days to enter I we only have a few uh, entries which is perfectly fine and thank you to all the beautiful people out there who entered so remember I am giving away two out of the four of these so that's one two three four you can choose two out of them it is an international and national giveaway um, but what I am adding is one of you lucky winners out there I wish my camera would focus what is going on sorry guys I don't know what's going on I am going to be giving away one of the two jewelry boxes I just made uh, I did a video on it um, it was a project share slash tutorial from uh, BB craft these are the the uh, beautiful jewelry boxes the trinket boxes I just made so when you lucky winners out there can actually and I am so happy I added the shell because it's easier to pick up when you lucky winners out there can win and choose one of the two trinket boxes okay so again if you want to enter you could comment on the original video and I'll link it like I said and um, you can uh, add a comment here as well so a couple of things you have to be subscribed just hit like and uh, if you want to share the video that would be great but it's not necessary just be subscribed that's it be subscribed let me know um, that you want to be entered into the giveaway the deadline is August 7th and choose one uh, two excuse me two out of the four of these beautiful resin coasters okay so that's one two three four and I don't know what's going on my camera today but it does not want to focus and then you can choose one of these two uh, trinket boxes trinket and this is also uh, resin okie dokie so I think that is it for today guys that was a lot uh, thank you so much for loving that two-minute uh, tip with Marisa I am really excited about that um, it gives me a chance to like kind of quickly give you really cool tips in a short amount of time um, yeah and, and I have a lot I mean I have a, now I have at least 10 to 10 more and or 15 more ideas um, organizational things all kinds of stuff or I have all kinds of art related tips money saving tips all kinds of things all right guys so thank you so so much for watching today I appreciate you I hope everyone has a wonderful day don't forget to enter in, in to my giveaway um, all my social media is linked down below if you want to follow me on Instagram Facebook I have a LinkedIn um, if anyone would like to further support my channel um, I have a PayPal where you could donate to and also if anyone is ever interested in buying any one of my art pieces I have a lot <laughs> I got so much stuff here you can email me um, I have my email in the description box below as well so guys I appreciate you thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye